Hey everyone, we're live for NRT Live. My name's Grace Chavez, and if you can't tell, I'm in a very different spot than I normally am. I'm actually in California right now. I'm sitting outside of our hotel. Uh, it's very bright, so the lighting's not very good. Uh, there's a ton, ton of bees near me, but we'll try and get through this, see what happens. But uh, thankfully I have a good connection, but I am coming to you from California right now. So if it looks off, the lighting's off, it's because uh, I'm not sitting in the shade. So, but today I'm doing NRT Live uh, with Meredith Andrews. She just released a brand new album today, and we're going to be talking about that and her music, and I'm super excited to have her on today. I see she's in here, so I'm going to invite her on. Okay. Hopefully this works good. Okay, let's see. Not sure how good my connection is, but we will have to try this. Hey! Hi! <laughs> Wasn't sure if that worked. It worked! Good. I, I was trying to turn my phone on airplane mode, so I'm like, oh man, I hope she's Oh, not gotcha. Because uh, inevitably somebody calls me every time I try to do one of these. <laughs> well, it's so great to have you on today. How's it going? Thanks for having me. Good. How are you? You're, you good. said, yeah? Yeah, I live in Las Vegas, but we're visiting family right now in California, so. What part? Uh, we're in San Diego. Awesome. San Diego is yeah. so beautiful. It is, yeah. Amazing. It's a little warm right now, though. Uh, yeah. It's been, like, it, the weather's been really weird. Like, it's been super cold, and now it's, like, pretty hot, so. Yeah. Yeah. Our <laughs> um, field day for my kids today, and uh -huh. I, sun was, like, glaring on me, so I feel like the whole left side of <laughs> shoulder my face is like red but it's okay what do you do yeah i'm probably gonna be sunburned after this <laughs> um, maybe you'll get a nice little tan <laughs> yeah hopefully <laughs> so well, first just you've been doing music for a while so just tell us about yourself and how you got started yeah so i um grew up in a tiny little town in north carolina and my mom was part of the worship team uh when i was growing up and i would listen to her practice and when I was six years old, I guess they really needed some special music because they asked me to sing for the offering special. And I was like, oh, awesome. And I sang, um, I love you, Lord. And it's always been my favorite songs ever since then. And um, yeah, I mean, I started writing songs when I was 12. And my first song I ever, the first song I ever wrote had um, six verses and no chorus. I, <laughs> you know, I was just starting out. I thought I was a him writer um you know you have to start somewhere but I um started playing my my songs for any church like my church and then any other church in the area that would that would have me that would you know listen and um I went to Liberty University and um actually didn't major in music or worship I majored in family and child development because I thought I was going to move to Guatemala when I graduated yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I had spent some time in an orphanage in Guatemala, which is one of the main reasons why I wanted to release Spanish music. I have mm -hmm. wanted to for so long. Um, but yeah, I, I majored in family and child development because I was planning on working in an orphanage in Guatemala, but God called me to Chicago instead. And I um, served at a church in Chicago for 10 years. And um, now my husband and our three kids, we live in Nashville and um, I get to write songs and, and lead people into the presence of God. And it's, it's my favorite thing. That's awesome. And then speaking of what you just released your first all Spanish album today, uh, what was the inspiration behind that? I know you kind of talked briefly about that. Yeah. So ever since I was probably 15 or so, um, I went on my very first mission trip after my freshman year of high school and we went to Costa Rica and um, it was soon after that that I um, started taking Spanish classes as well. And it just felt like a kind of a natural fit. I loved the Spanish language. It was way, came way easier um, to me than algebra. <laughs> so um, I just loved the language and I loved the people. And I loved getting to know um, people in different countries and seeing their hunger for God. And there's something about Latin America. I think all across the board, there's a hunger there that's not always seen in the States as much, you know, and mm -hmm. I've just gotten to experience that firsthand. And, um, and it, it's contagious, you know, when you're around people who are so on fire for the Lord and are hungry for his presence, it doesn't matter what language they're speaking. It's just, 
you know, you just catch a hold of that. And it's like, it just inspires you in your own walk with the Lord. And yeah. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where it started. I, um, like I said, I went to Guatemala six times when I was in college and mm -hmm. um, primarily worked in an orphanage there. I didn't even really, when I went, it wasn't even to go sing or lead worship or anything like that. It was just to work with the kids. And um, they were some of the sweetest moments of my life, just mm -hmm. taking care of those babies on top of this mountain in Guatemala. I'd say that um, they were some of the holiest moments of my life. And um, after college, you know, I, I ended up in Chicago, but uh, I would go to different countries like Peru and Dominican Republic. I went to El Salvador in college and, and did get to lead worship in Spanish there. And it was so fun. And so that's kind of where um, the inspiration came from. It wasn't just yeah. this fluke thing of like, hey, I want to do a Spanish record. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Because it makes sense. No, I've, I've wanted to do this for um, probably 20 years. And so oh, wow. um, I'm so thankful that I finally get to release um, a collection of these songs in Spanish. Yeah, it's so cool. Yeah. And then um, I know we kind of talked about this a little bit, but um, why is it, why do you think it's important for Christian music to be released in other languages like Spanish? Yeah. Well, I believe that God's heart is for the nations. You know, mm -hmm. God loves every person on the planet, regardless of um, where they come from, what their background is, what language they speak. And he hears the cry of their hearts, uh, no matter what language. And and um, just as like we're still working on, and I say we, just the church collectively are praying and giving towards all, like all of scripture being translated into every language that mm -hmm. Know, every nation tribe and tongue can understand not just um if there's a difference between understanding it like oh i know that language like it's my second language but it's a it's a whole nother ball game when you're able to translate songs and scripture into someone's mother tongue into yeah. someone's heart language the language that they heard their mother speaking the language mm -hmm. that you know, they've heard from the womb. And so it grabs a hold of their heart in a different way. And I know that there's so many people on this planet that Spanish is that language for them. And so for me, even though I'm not fluent in Spanish, I love the Latin community and I see God's heart for the Latin community. And so it was just so significant for me to actually get to release songs in this beautiful language that people are praying in and singing in every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's amazing. And I haven't seen a ton of Christian artists like release their songs in Spanish. So it's really cool to start seeing that now. So that's really awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you. I'm, I'm honored to get to do it. Mm -hmm. And then you have a bunch of collaborations on this album with different artists. Um, what was that like? Well, most of these collaborations, um, I wasn't even in the room for that. <laughs> so that was like the crazy part. Like, um, Mielsen Marcos and Julissa and, well, I, I, I've never even met them before. And so oh, wow. willing, because they have huge Latin followings, and for them to be willing to um, jump on this record with me and just sing with this white girl, you know, I was so... <laughs> um, and then Blanca is my label mate, so she was like, Let, let's do it, which I was just, again, so honored that she did that. My friend Seth Condry um, mm -hmm. from Anna um, jumped in on Open Up the Heavens, Abre Nos Los Cielos, which is the title track. And then uh, my friend Lucia Parker, I actually met her through this whole process because she's the one um, that translated all of these songs. And mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's a lot of hard work because she's trying to, you know, fit syllables into melodies and mm -hmm. so that it actually says the same thing that it does in English, you know, at yeah. least as close as possible. And she did such an incredible job. And she came in to the studio with me every time that I, um, every time we were recording these songs in Spanish and made sure I was singing it correctly, you know? Mm -hmm. and, um, and I'm so thankful for her and we've, she's become such a good friend out of this process. And she sings on uh, Fe y Asombro, which is Faith and Wonder. Oh, wow, nice. That's yeah. super cool. I didn't know that. Yes. And then what's next for you? Is there any other new music on the horizon? Yeah, I've been writing a ton the last couple of years. You know, the last English project that we put out was an EP, um, my live EP, which all of the those songs are on this Spanish album now translated. And um, we've I had a writer's retreat back in October, and um, I have 
more songs that I know what to do with. And we're just kind of playing through timing. And I'm hoping that we'll actually be able to get into the studio by the end of the summer and uh, start recording some new songs. I'm very excited about the, the songs that the Lord has given me and um, I'm just excited to share them with other people, hopefully soon. Mm -hmm. That's super exciting. And I'm really excited to hear it. Uh, thank sure you. It's great. Thank you. And then on all of these live streams, I do rapid fire questions. So are you ready for those? Good. Okay. Uh, favorite food? Um, vegetable beef soup. <laughs> nice. Uh, all time favorite song? Oh, gracious. Uh, <laughs> that's not rapid fire. I'm, uh, it's probably something by Whitney Houston. I'll just go with I Will Always Love You, which is actually by Dolly Parton, but I love Whitney's version of it. <laughs> okay, that works. And then uh, favorite movie? Oh, gracious. Favorite movie. This is so hard. I have to talk about these things in so long. What is my favorite? Um, I know this is random, but one of my favorite movies, it might be my favorite movie, is uh, Slumdog Millionaire. Do you remember that? Did you ever see that movie? It was never saw that. No. It was, I loved that movie. It was really good. I need to go back and watch it. So that's the first one that popped in my head. I'm not sure if it's my favorite or not, but we'll roll with that. <laughs> yeah, I always say I mainly watch Disney movies and stuff, so. <laughs> oh, well, I love Moana, so there you go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and then somebody just asked, favorite Hallmark TV show? <laughs> oh, shit. I don't, I, I don't watch Hallmark TV. I don't watch any TV enough to know. Probably anything with Candace Cameron Bure. I'll go with that. Yeah, I have not seen a Hallmark movie in a while, so. Yeah, well, I only watch them sometimes with my mom at Christmas. That's mm -hmm. that's, that's my friend, Fee, who asked that question. <laughs> so anyway. And then uh, favorite dessert? Strawberry shortcake. Ooh, yum. Yes. And then uh, name some of your musical inspirations. Rita Springer, Whitney Houston, Nicole Nordeman, Darlene Check, um, Rebecca St. James, just to name a few. Nice. And yeah. then favorite Bible verse? Um, Acts 2024, 20, it says, however, I consider my life worth nothing to me. If only I may finish the race and complete the task that the Lord Jesus has given me, the task of testifying to the gospel of his grace. I love that one. That one's great. Hey. And then this is not a rapid fire question, but uh, how can we be praying for you? Oh, wow. Um, thanks for asking. Um, well, we just finished up our first year of homeschool slash, well, it was kind of like a hybrid homeschool. I told you I had three kids. They're 10, 8, and 6, and now we're going into summer. Um, had an amazing year. I feel like this year has been such um, a refining and healing and uh, even like a slowing down year for, mm -hmm. for us. I know for many people as well, especially with what happened, all the things that happened in 2020 and just kind of hitting the reset button and learning how to um, be even more intentional with what God is asking of you, you know? And so mm -hmm. that's, I mean, that's what I could ask for prayer for, even just protection over our family, um, continued healing and growth and rest. And um, that we'll just lean into what God is saying and be intentional with where he's placed us and obedient to what he's asked of us. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll be praying for that. And I'm sure our staff will be too. And it was so great to have you on today. Thank you so much for having me. This was super yeah, of fun. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Awesome. You too. Thanks. Enjoy San Diego. Thanks. Bye. Bye.